high school and I went on to train as a welder in a nearby technical college because I was so skilled with my hands. When I finished, I tried to find a job which forced me even to move to Nairobi. An agency in Nairobi approached me and promised me a good job in Dubai as a welder. I worked in Dubai for three months and things were great. I was relocated to South Sudan. This changed everything. In South Sudan, the working conditions were horrible. I was with three other Kenyans and a man from the Philippines. We would try and survive on wild fruits just to survive. We saw a lot of deaths in the desert, especially people who tried to leave the company. And then one day, I cut my fingers in the machine I was working with. My bosses didn't bother taking me to the hospital, so I was forced to urin urinate on my fingers, trying to make sure I didn't get infected. There was a supervisor who was sexually molesting the juniors. He tried to molest a Kenyan, but the Kenyan fought back to the supervisor, which ended up him shooting the Kenyan. When this happened, we decided to conduct the Kenyan embassy in South Sudan. They offered to pay for the transportation of the cops. Having lost my friend, without any money, without any tools, and even my family abandoned me because I was not able to send them money. If I knew this was to happen, let alone having the knowledge that life will turn around, I would have changed my future. Whatever happened to me left me a victim. A victim who had nothing. A victim who didn't know where to go. A victim who didn't know where to start. But I believe human trafficking is a menace that can be stopped if only we come together and find better ways to help our people.